All right, let's go, go over crude oil real quick. We're going to be getting this program out to you guys and gals, and um, there's a couple things that I added to the program uh, that will help you out um, uh, that where the trades will automatically fire off for you. Uh, one I added, if you notice, I love using the smaller MA if I'm above it or below it. I did add a feature because a lot, of, a lot of members wanted this. If you are above the smaller MA, which is I use just an 8 MA on my larger time frame, uh, meaning my Renko bar, if I'm above it, it's not going to take any shorts at all. I just added that uh, this week, and um, that is a feature you're going to use. In other words, this right here would be a buy signal. And why that would be a buy signal? Because you are actually got above your longer MA, and it's at a full retracement down here. So you can use that as a entry technique and try to find the ones, I mean, it will look, locate the ones that are on a full retracement with overall trend if it's even above or below the small MA. In other words, it will take a short here also. Um, you're at a full retracement there and here. And then you're also below my smaller MA um, with the overall trend direction. So this is a feature that I did add in for you guys because I call it the Momo. Uh, there's a switch called the Momo switch, which is for momentum trades. Um, I had retracement trades in there, but I just added the momentum trades because momentum trades are very fast. And it lets you know if the market is in, if you're in a downtrend, below the small, uh, smaller MA, then if you get a full retracement, that is a nice setup. It got above the uh, smaller MA. Um, it did not get a full retracement here. or That would have been a buy setup here also. See, we didn't have a full retracement, but this gave us a full retracement. So that creates opportunity uh, for you guys and gals to understand um, when you get this uh, algo out to you, I did add that feature into. It's called the Momo feature. It's called a momentum feature. Momentum on a full retracement will provide you uh, an automated in, uh, automated uh, error will pop up for you if you want that to program as far as that that goes. Also, you can use it on the smaller time frame. Also, it works really well in the smaller time frame. Um, if you're in a downtrend, let's say if I look at today's activity and I just skinny the chart down, and we're in a downtrend, if you're in a full retracement, um, it will not fire an arrow unless you get a Full retracement right here so that would fire a signal um, and then on the way back up it'll fire a signal on symmetry here you're a full retracement on this time frame you can see you're at a full buy retracement here you're at a full buy retracement here you're at a full buy retracement here on an uptrend right there's a buy retracement Here's a buy retracement that just happened a second ago. So <clears throat> what you can do is um, you can actually use the program that we're getting out to you, and you can pick up these spots in the market that's at a full retracement with the overall trend direction. And it's called the Momo trade, meaning you are above this. Well, on this time frame, it would be above this. You put this MA in which would be your intermediate MA. So in other words, you want to be below the magenta on all setups if it fires a signal on a full retracement. And all these were sell signals, sell, 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 sell. You're above them all, buy, buy, buy. So you can actually program. I mean, that's our, our actually already programmed in for you as far as that goes. The other feature I added um, is a lot of you guys wanted – I, I did have add market delta, but I added market delta on a different time frame. We've had a lot of traders really have success off this doing this setup. They've been looking at the nine sim Renko. This is a trend chart for the entire session. So we know that these are buy setups based upon the trend chart. That's a buy setup. This is a buy setup. catching the rolling position traders because you look for the opposite color candle to fire against trend and then you look for a 
momentum candle to fire you in the trade. So these are all, these are sell signals. These are buy signals off the trend chart. This is a sell signal here also. Almost got a full retracement. You can see here. So that's a sell signal. So those are three sells according to the trend chart. And then these are three buys. So what I've done with the algo that we're getting out to you guys and gals is I made it so you don't have to see a lot of arrows that fire. You can do it where the arrows only fire if it's with trend on the larger time frame with the full retracement. And also you can use now market delta on a different time frame. So in other words, if you want to look at this 9 sim for trend, but you want your stocks based upon a 5 sim, what it'll do is this. Let's look at this trade setup right here that happened. And I just added that, added this also for you guys and gals. A lot of, lot of traders wanted this. They want to look at the 9 sim for trend, but they want to trade off, let's say, the 5 or 3 sim for your entry technique on a retracement with that stop being two ticks below the swing low, not on the 9 sim, let's say on the 3 or 5. It gives you around 11 to 12 tick stop on a big time frame. So what I added is I added market delta to it where market delta, what it'll do, let's say this fires off, this fired off at 731. So at 731 at this level on this time frame, it would look for market delta at 731 right there. So an arrow will fire right here if you say, hey, I want it to have a full retracement which it is, full retracement down here, and I want it to uh, be on the 9 sim on a full retracement, and then I also want market delta to fire a positive market delta at 731. So at 731 this morning, if I look what happened with the market, it's going to fire you in the trade right there and it's market delta is going to put you in the trade only after it turns positive market delta so what you're getting is with the program is you're getting the retracement it catch the retracement off the nine sim the nine sim caught this but you can allow the five sim to get your entry in other words the nine sim you want to look for a full retracement that's you can you can put that as your parameter and then you can use the five sim or four sim, even if you want four, you can put in a four if you want to wait till it turns positive market delta. So right when it turns positive market delta, the algo will go long and then your stop will be X amount of ticks that you put. I have two ticks below the swing low and there you go. Now what you can do also is you can not have the market delta get you in. And if that's the case, what it will do is, is when the, when you do get a, um, I'm sorry, if you do let the market delta not keep you in the first target trade, meaning it will keep you in the first target until you close an opposite market delta. You can also have it where you just have a first and a second target in a trail. So on big trades, you'll see when you, we have a lot of market delta like this, where let's say that this was a sell signal. That was a sell signal this morning. It will keep you in this first target all the way down until positive market delta comes in, and then it'll start trailing you. That's also a feature you can do. And we're going to go over all this stuff. Uh, members, Thursday at 5 o'clock, next Thursday at 5 o'clock. Gerald, are you good next Thursday? i got to make sure it's okay with Gerald. Are you okay next Thursday at 5 to go over this, the program? I'm going to make sure it's okay with him. Yeah, he's good. So next Thursday at 5, we're going to record it. I'm actually going to go over the, the guts of this program. But that's what the features are, um, The what you've been viewing in the room. You haven't been seeing all the features because I, I didn't have everything added in here for you. So I want to put this up to show you what you're going to be getting and how it's important. In other words, this nice little uh, full retracement indicator on the bottom, it does help you out and seeing why you want to go with overall trend direction and make sure you're buying or selling on a deeper retracement. Because this last buy signal here, 
This is an arrow that automatically fired off. I did not put that in there. This fired off right there on the 5 sim. This is a full retracement on the 9 sim right here. See the full retracement? That's a full retracement down here. You see we're below 10. And we're at a full retracement on the 5 sim with overall trend direction. Did we get positive market delta? Yes, we did. Positive market delta here tells us we got an order balance on the buy. And this is a perfect buy setup to go long crude oil. This is what I'm going to show you how you can program. There's so many different features for this. The reason I took off the buy sell indicator in the room, there's so many features you can add to it. You can customize how you want to do this. If you just want to simply take trades with 9 sim trend and 5 sim entry, you can do that on a full retracement. And if you want to take 9 sim trend with full retracement with 5 sim entry and market delta to confirm, you can do that. And that's what we're going to be going over Thursday, next Thursday at 5 p.m. I'm actually, we're going to be getting this program out to you guys and gals. You can customize this thing as much as you want. Um, I had a lot of features. The other feature I added is a first cross trade. And you haven't seen this in the room yet, but you have this feature. What that means is, is you have a switch where when this crosses over, it's going to take the first retracement trade that is a full retracement. In other words, it got long right here, right that low on the 5 sim. So what you can do now is you can program and you can back test this for up to a year and saying, hey, I want to see the, the hundreds and hundreds of trades that it's taken that I have nine sim trend on a full retracement with five sim entry on a full retracement with a first moving average cross retracement with market delta entry. That's how complex and sophisticated this program is. And you, you've only seen a couple of the bells and whistles that you have been showing the room the last two, two and a half weeks. I've got so much added to this, you can actually customize how you want this and you can back test it on any parameter that you want. The other one I added too, like I said this morning, is this. You can make it where you only take trades that are on the side of this eight. This is only going to take sells. This, this morning, is only going to take buys on the side of the 8. What does that mean? It means that even though this moving average is crossed down, I have it where you can have this switch where you turn on and say, hey, I don't want to take any full retracement at all until I'm on the side of the smaller MA. So this would be, we haven't crossed over here yet until here, here. so this wouldn't be a first cross trade. But you can program it. I mean, I have a program where you can you put the switch on where this full full retracement trade is a trade setup because it's on the side of the smaller MA. What that does, it brings your trades down to a few trades a day. In other words, one, two, three, four, five. There's only been two trades here this morning according to this full retracement indicator on the side of this 8 MA. Right there, it's, we've had two trade setups here and here. And this is already programmed for you guys and gals, and the arrows will automatically fire off for you. You can see the advantage of doing that. It's pretty cool. Because now you can see physically, I mean, not physically, but um, you can see with your, with uh, visually, sorry, see visually why you want this to take trades on full retracements here 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 and here all right so these are sells these are buys and it doesn't matter what like I said it doesn't matter what time frame you use I can bring gold over here this morning and gold these are beautiful sell setups I mean I'm just you got to be biting at the bitter. That's a full retracement. Look down here at the full retracement with the fib arrow. That's a full retracement with the fib arrow. That's a full retracement with the fib arrow. 
right? So with overall trend direction on the sells. On the buys, it got back above the symmetry dots. That's a full retracement. You'd buy that on a full retracement. So it doesn't matter what time frame. Now, that's the five cents in the smaller time frame. But you can go in the larger time frame also, and it works the same way. You can see the crude. That was your, your entry setups on crude. Well, let's take a look at gold. If you do this, it really pinpoints the setups for you. If I look at the setup since 7.45 this morning on gold, you can see I'm at a full retracement here with trend down. Full retracement here, and it's not even really trending hard down. That's a sell setup. All right, full retracement here. You've had three sell setups since 7.45 this morning. That's a sell setup. Oops. Now it's working on another one right now. But it doesn't matter. I can put this to any market. If it really doesn't matter. I can put heating oil up. It's the same concept that you can use. Here, I'll shut, I'll shut this off in one second, but I want to show you a few other markets. It's the same concept. If I'm trading heating oil this morning, then I know I've got great retracement trades right here. I know that I'm in a great retracement trade right there in heating oil. I know I'm in a great retracement trade here on heating oil. Right? So I know in a great retracement trade here, trend is hard up on heating oil. Now it's moving back down. I just had a sell signal. Why? Let's take a look at the sell signal. I got, I'm at a full retracement. I know I'm in a great sell setup at that level right here because of right there all right it doesn't matter you can look at gasoline this morning it doesn't matter really get your head right when you're trading these markets if I look at gasoline this morning look at all these buy setups at 7:30 this morning buy I set up here buy set up here buy set up here here Buy set up here for retracement. Buy set up here. I have had all these buy retracements just at 7.30 this morning on a full retracement. Now, this is off of a 9 Simrenko. That's my larger time frame. But it gets your head right that you're looking at a full retracement on the larger time frame. Now, I'm going to take it a little step further for you. These are all buy setups that you can program in the algo. that automatically come up for you. Now, get into this full retracement, and it gets below here. You can program it. I mean, I've got a program where if you can say, hey, i, I got a 9 sim Rinko. I'm looking at these setups, these buy setups. But I want to enter off of a 5 or 4 sim Rinko. It will do that. The arrow won't fire until you get positive or negative market delta off the 4 sim or the 5 sim that you put in. All right. And like I said, it doesn't just get your head right. It doesn't matter what market you're looking at. I can look at the Dow. I can look at the NASDAQ. This large time frame, get your head right. And this is what we're going to go over next Thursday, how you can customize your own, you can customize your own um, parameters because I built all this stuff in for you. If I look at the Dow this morning at 8.15, this is an instant short for me. I'm at a full retracement right there. This never got a full retracement. This one did. This is just off the nine Simrenko. That's without any other. This is without any other um, parameter that I'm using. So it just it really helps you out knowing. It helps you out knowing when the full retracement is in effect. But like I said, you can take it a step further. You can like I, I got this. I got. Um, the filters where you can be below the larger MA and it won't even take any trades at all until you're at a full retracement with market delta on the side of the smaller MA. It's a really neat feature. And we're going to go over all this stuff. And like I said, you can back test this stuff for, for a year and take all the trades, all that stuff. All right? You can do all that stuff right across the board. You know, if I'm trading... NASDAQ futures right here is a buy setup just happened. 
right? So this will allow you to, uh, what I'm going to go over, where's gold at here? Um, th this will allow you to look for full retracements off the large time frame, but enter off of a smaller time frame with a smaller stop. And that's what we all want. So that's the feature I, I put into um, the algo we're going to be getting out to you is I've added the Momo indicator. And let me go with this. The Momo indicator just tells you this, just like this last setup. These are all momentum, in the, momentum trades, all these arrows. That's a momentum trade. That's a momentum trade. Momentum sell, momentum sell, momentum sell. At a full retracement. So if you say on the algo that I want only momentum trades at a full retracement with a four or five sim market delta confirm, it will only show these trades right here. It won't show any other trades. In other words, if you don't want to get caught in a retracement and say short here or short here, right, because it's still crossed down. If you don't want to get caught up in this when it's trying to transition, I got it where you can use the algo to help you avoid these setups. And that's the beauty of it. All right, so next Thursday, we're going to go over all this stuff on go every – on all these bells and whistles I added, I added the, like I said, the first cross trade, I added the momentum indicator, the full retracement indicator, I've added market delta in it, uh, also a market profile has been added, I've added a lot of these features that you guys wanted, I added a daily profit loss, daily profit goal, I've added all these features, we're going to go this next Thursday, next Thursday at 5 p.m., so I want you guys and gals to understand I'm going to leave these in here for you members, though, this retracement indicator, because I want you to get used to what, how you want to customize your algo when we get it out to you, because you can customize when these arrows fire based upon those parameters. Some of you will want to use all the parameters to filter only one or two or three trades a day, and you can do that. And your accuracy, if you back test it over the past year or what have you, watch how the accuracy goes extremely up. Some of you won't want a lot more trades because you scalped the market. So you won't want a full retracement like this. And you just take that feature off by clicking it off, and you don't have to have a full retracement. But the majority of traders, they want filters to keep you out of a lot of trades. And that's the filters we added. So I'm just going to leave this in the room, this retracement indicator anyway, so you guys can see. And um, we're just going to keep in the room. Uh, from now on going forward anyway because it really is a good basis um if you look at when earl does all the ticks he does i don't know if earl's in the room earl are you in the room today he's been over 200 tick days in the room um he's been doing this technique since the beginning he likes using the retracement indicator on the bottom to make sure he's fully retraced and that's how he's been doing these 100 to 200 tick days quite frequently on a lot of these markets with a simple technique of trend retracement off these Renko bars with market delta. It's a great combination. You add market profile in there, and all of a sudden this thing accuracy goes through the roof. All right, so that's something we're doing. Um, next Thursday, make sure we're that.